Um, has very good nutrient levels. Everything was at or above the optimal range for all our macronutrients. Again, uh, with micronutrients, we see those be, being below the optimal range, which is pretty typical of what you guys have seen on most of our bag soils. Uh, our pH was in the optimal range, trending up a little bit higher, but still within the optimal range for pH on this particular soil. Great. And what did you have that scored at? I scored it at a 8.5. And I was at an 8.5 as well. Again, coming back to that nutrient density score. All right, Chris mentioned sounded like a broken record and I work with him and I can confirm. Um, but one of, the, one of the questions we've been getting in the comments a lot is, what are some of the sources of micronutrients that we could be adding to correct that deficiency that's so typical in these bagged soils? So Chris, what would you be adding as a micronutrient supplement here? Typically for like the long-term play, we're recommending azomite or green sand. If you want to see things happen quickly on your micronutrient levels, there are micronutrient packages out there that are available, typically granulars. If you see those micronutrients are low from the test, you can start those foliar applications right out of the gate and maybe avoid um, any of the deficiencies you might see from micronutrients.